Right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Bahashim, Rakakudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are learning this truth from. I'd like to say peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. And today I want to go into the book of Luke, chapter 17. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying the straight to the point. This is the book of Luke, chapter 17. Then said he unto the then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible, but that offenses will come, but one unto him through whom they come. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and cast into the sea, than that he should offend one of these little ones. You know, and the little ones being, you know, the prophets. You know, and that's one thing, you know, us and I know, you know, us sincere brothers, you know, we shouldn't, you know, offend, you know, one another. You know, even though I'm not in the camp, you know, still, you know, starting with the apostles and elders, you know, we, we have to show that respect to each other, you know, because there is an order, you know, that comes with this truth. You know, we have to follow that order. And that's basically what it's saying, you know, it's better that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he cast into the sea, basically, if, you know, he wouldn't have known the truth at all. But, you know, we don't know who, you know, we each other are. You know, we don't know who certain certain men are, you know, because all the prophets are back today, you know. Reincarnation is real. Verse 3. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, I repent, thou shalt forgive him. And yes, you know, there's going to come times where, you know, a brother may offend, you know, against you or trespass, you know, but if he repents, you know, we're supposed to forgive him and not hold on to that grudge, you know, and the number seven again represents completion. So, you know, even if he trespasses against you a complete number of times, you know, still forgive that brother if he repents. Verse five, and the apostles said unto the Lord, increase our faith. And the Lord said, if he have, if he had faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. And yes, you know, as long as we have that faith, you know, we have the faith in the Lord. You know, we'll be, you know, we'll be able to do anything. You know. Especially when we get those new bodies and we're changed. Lord willing, we be the elect. Verse 7. But which of you, having a servant plowing or feeding cattle, will say unto him, By and by, when he is come from the field, go and sit down to meet, and will not rather say unto him, Make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself, and serve me, till I have eaten and drunken, and afterwards thou shalt eat and drink. Doth he thank that servant because he did the things that he were? Slakia. Doth he thank that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise ye. When ye shall have done all those things which were commanded you, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done that which is our duty to do. And you know, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, we were commanded to teach, you know, to learn this truth and teach it, you know, and to wake up. You know, the elect of the nation of Israel. Just 
Word. Verse 11. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten that were lepers which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Yahweh Shai, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show thyselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified Yahweh and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Yahweh Shai answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to Yahweh, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And yet, this is going into a miracle that, you know, one of the many miracles that our Lord performed, you know, these guys were lepers, you know, meaning, you know, they didn't have pigments, you know, they lost the pigments in their skin, you know, they didn't have any melanin, they lost their, their skin color, you know, and a Samaritan, so these were Israelite foreigners, well, they were Israelites, but if the man was a Samaritan, he was an Israelite foreigner, because the Lord referred to him as a stranger, so he was an Israelite foreigner, you know, but he still gave thanks to the Lord when he seen that he was healed, you know, because he had faith. Once he saw, you know, that his leprosy was gone, but the other nine, you know, they didn't come back, but he did. Verse 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of Yahweh should come, he answered them and said, The kingdom of Yahweh cometh not with observation, neither shall they say, Lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of Yahweh is within you. And yes, you know, the kingdom of Yahweh is within us first, you know, before it's manifest on the earth. It is manifest, you know, it's in us. And he said unto the disciples, The days will come when ye shall serve Shlakia, when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. And they shall say to you, See here, or see there, go not after them, nor follow them. For as the lightning that lighteneth out of the one part under heaven, shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. And this is one of the main points. Verse 26, And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives, they were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered, entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. And yes, you know, that's why the current time that we're living in is being compared to the days of Noah because the same things that took place back then are taking place now, you know. People are eating and drinking, you know, Men are taking unto themselves wives, you know, banqueting. They're, they're doing a lot of things that they were doing back then. But the only difference is, you know, the Lord isn't going to judge the world by water again. He's going to judge the world by fire this time. 
because that was the first death, the first death, you know, by the flood, the flood of water. But this time, you know, the Lord made a covenant with Noah that he would no longer destroy the earth by water. Hence the reason for the rainbow, you know, it's a, uh, it's like you thinking of the word is pretty much, you know, it is a covenant, but it's pretty much the Lord showing that, you know, he's going to judge the world by way of fire. And the best way I can describe it is, you know, how a rainbow is arched. That's going to be the judgment when those missiles are shot off. Because those missiles are going to be shot into the ozone layer. They're going to leave the earth and then they're going to come back down faster than when they went up. And they're going to come back on fire because they're going to be traveling so fast. verse 28 likewise also it was likewise also as it was in the days of lot they did eat they drank they bought they sold they planted they built it but the same day that lot went out of sodom it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all and yes that's what's going to happen in america that's what's going to happen to america you know it's going to be destroyed by fire and brimstone. Hence, the ICBM nuclear missiles. Because that's the only thing that's going to be able to take out America in one hour. Verse 30. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which stood. Slakia, in that day. He which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down and take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. And yes, you know, he's telling us to remember Lot's wife because, you know, when Lot was leaving Sodom and Gomorrah, he was commanded not to look back. And, you know, Lot kept walking. But his wife turned back and she was turned into a pillar of salt because, you know, she missed the lifestyle that they lived, you know, a lot. You know, he had wealth. He had substance. Hence the reason why she looked back, because she enjoyed, you know, the certain things that were going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. But during this time that we're living in, you know, the nation is it's like if they elect of the nation of Israel, you know, we're being reminded to remember Lot's wife, not to look back at America because of the judgment that it's going to receive, you know. Verse 33, who shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. I tell you, in that night there shall be two men in one bed, that one the one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one take the one shall be taken and the other left. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles gather Slakia. And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together. And yes, these last few verses is going into how the elect will be delivered, you know. Because there's only going to be a remnant that's going to be saved and during this time, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble. Because again, you know, when we were, when we were delivered out of the land of ancient Egypt, the entire nation of Israel... You know, was delivered, but during this time, only that remnant, the elect, the 144,000 and the one third, they're going to be saved. But the two thirds of Israel are going to be destroyed because they don't 
they you know they don't want to hearken unto the words of the prophets they don't want to come back and return from their wicked ways so henceforth you know there's only going to be a select number of people that are going to be delivered when the lord returns when they're, they're going to be beamed up by the chariots you know so-called ufos so lord willing this lesson was edifying I want to give our praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, and Kakodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I like to say peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. To the next time I say Shalom.